Hello everyone, I'm your host Akuma, and something has gone terribly wrong. So I am recording this video much farther in advance than I usually do. Hopefully I will not have to upload this ever, but in the case that I do, something has gone wrong and apparently I can't upload the normal videos that would come out today. The darkness amplifies the chill of the fallen snow, or falling snow, I can't read. A shrill scream pierces the cold as we look upon the Cobblepot household. The parents, horrified by their disfigured child's appearance and behavior, threw him and his carriage into the Gotham River. Because, you know, that's always a good thing to do. It's a perfect solution. The carriage floated down the storm drain and ended up in Arctic World, part of the old Gotham Zoo. There it was carried off into the darkness by huge emperor penguins. Okay. Just... Okay. <laughs> 33 years later. Christmas is approaching. Yay! In Gotham City. Aww. But repeated sightings of a strange penguin creature have been nagging the metropolis of late. The mayor is addressing the crowd in Gotham Plaza, completely unaware of a huge red gift box that is slowly moving towards the crowd. The box bursts open, and weird members of the Red Triangle Circus gain Kareen the terrified masses. Do 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 do. Blank, blank spot. So much dead space. Today I'm going to be playing Batman Returns, and it's going to be a short game. There will probably only be about three videos if I'm lucky. If I'm unlucky, then we'll either do a lot more or a lot less. It depends completely on how well I play. Gotham City has a hero who is aware of all evil doings in Gotham City, and yet he doesn't stop them before they happen. Huh, how about that? A hero that bears strength and intelligence under his dark mask. He is the dot 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 mysterious Batman. He bravely stands up against all evil, the fragile <laughs> peace that exists in Gotham City is reinforced by his presence. Doodly 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 doo. However, there is a new player in town, an adversary that creates chaos in Gotham City. She used to be the quiet secretary of Max Shrek, a powerful businessman. Frustrated by the villainous Shrek, she has transformed into Catwoman. She prowls the streets in search of Batman. But will she help Batman? Dot dot dot. Or join with the Penguin and try to destroy him? The Bat, the Cat, the Rat. Or Penguin. How come only Penguin has a little trademark logo on the bottom? Batman doesn't? Catwoman doesn't? No, it's off with the Penguin. Batman the Batman Returns game was based on the Batman Returns movie, which in my opinion is certainly the most gothic of the movies, at least as far as I can tell. Batman's battle is about to begin, yay. I have never actually completely beaten this game, because it is very difficult. However, I have something that works in my favor today. Instead of game start, we'll go down here to options. I guess I gotta push start to get in there. Now the way the game works, and I'm going to be playing from a ROM because I can capture the game better, and by the way, my Super Nintendo cords suck at the moment. The original Batman cartridge, if you play the game on easy mode, you get to play through three levels, then you're done. You gotta go through harder modes to get through to the end. Game level normal, you get to play through to level six, or through level six, you beat that, you're done. Hard mode, they let you play all the way through to the end and beat the final boss. I think that there are seven levels in the game, so if you play on normal mode, you're one short. But, as I figured out, if we play on easy mode, like I figured out just a few minutes ago, if we play on easy mode, they let us go all the way through on easy. How fortunate. And there's two modes I don't know about. They are special and mania, which I am not very keen on trying out. So I'm going to be playing the game on easy, hopefully for once, I will be able to beat this game, and I can finally have another one complete. 
Rest is our number of lives. I'm going to put that to maximum because I need all the help I can get. Key option. These are very weird. Attack is the Y button. Jump is the B button. Special is Y and B? I don't remember. Oh, wait. Yeah, now I remember that. I'll actually be using the special as soon as the game starts. Trying to get in an extra hit. Item is A. Our items will be on the top middle of the screen. Bat test tube. Uh -huh. Yeah. And guard. I think that we can only use the bat test tube if we're guarding while we use it. And of course, we're not going to play around with the sound test, so let's go ahead and start the game. Dun 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 dun. And of course, we have to do another cutscene. We're like six minutes into this game already. Well, maybe five. And we've got the Joker without his lipstick. Actually, that's Batman. But in that lighting, he really does look like the Joker. Scene 1, Ambush in Gotham Plaza. And boom! Ha! That's our special attack, is to sweep with the cape. Okay, so let me try this out. We've got punch, jump, item. Okay. And then test tube, which I will not do, but we also got guard, which I don't know if I actually take any damage while I use it. And I'm not very willing to try it because any health I can survive, I can sustain is going to be extremely important. But basically, it's a side-scroller beat-em-up. I used to play the heck out of this game, and so did my dad. Actually, there's a funny story about that with my dad in this game. Uh, we were going to go over to a friend's house at one point, and dad was playing this game, and we were late to get out. He'd been playing for a while, he thought he'd be done long before... Aha, I see you over there. Thought he would have been done long before it was time to go, but he wasn't. So he kept on playing, trying to finish the game, or at least to have the game finish him. And my mom's going, come on, we gotta go, we're already late. And he's going, no, no, I'll be there just soon, I'll be there soon enough. And apparently, I guess my mom gave him the mom look or whatever, because he eventually turned the game off when we got there. But when we got there... Okay, that was a cheap shot. And when we got there, the other man of the house was busy playing asteroids, and then his wife had to kick him off so that we could all go eat and do whatever it was that we were going to do. Somehow that has stuck with me in my head for a very long time. It wasn't anything special, but darn it, that was funny. <laughs> I just thought you guys might like a uh, little bit of that story. Woohoo! We could punch the bikers when they come by, but I think that the bike has a mu much better chance of hitting us than we do of hitting the biker. Our bat tubes, or our bat test tubes, by the way, will restock after we get through a level, so we don't have to worry about running out and staying run out. But there is a limited supply of them. It's basically, darn it, it's basically a clear all enemies on screen attack, and we can even use it against bosses. But uh, nope. And here's something I really loved in the, about this game as a kid. Hold on. Okay, I'll have to get it with the next guy. They have destructible environments. You pick somebody up, you can either throw them against the ground, you can throw them against each other, or you throw them against the environment, which I absolutely loved. Destructible environments, I think that was the first time I'd ever seen them, and I loved it. Darn it. Those bazooka guys. <laughs> yeah. We can't use our items against the guys, but if you watch their health up there, they don't really change. So they're just good for a quick stun. There are some enemies that will try to keep their distance from you, and they are quite powerful, like the bazooka guys. So if you want to get in close, use the bazooka on them while they are at a distance. That will let you get in close and be able to start beating them up. Something that I did as a kid all the time, though, I had to destroy the environments as much as possible. No matter what difficulty I was playing on, no matter how much health I had left, no matter how much I wanted to beat the game, I had to destroy the environments as much as possible. So I will sort of be trying to destroy the environments just to kind of hold on to that little bit of me that says you have to do this and of course I'm going to be a little bit OCD about it. I don't have OCD by the way, I think. But I will be trying to, darn it, I didn't want to pick up that health and I didn't need it. But I will be trying to destroy the environments as much as humanly possible. Wait a second, I didn't need the health? I haven't died yet. I'm still on my first life. Wow. I am doing much better than when I was practicing earlier. Although I haven't played this game in a very long time, so I did need the practice, but... Huh, how about that? Oh jeez. Okay, now I need the health. Didn't he run over me earlier, though? Maybe I did need the health. And I picked up another one before. Now oh, there we go. That'll get rid of him. Dun, dun, dun. Gotcha. But this one I can grab now. And now I move on to another section of the game. This is a very fun section. Wong. Yay. In this section, our item is only the bat grapple. We can't really do much with it. 
However, our main attack is the Boomerang. Batarang, now. That's what I said. Batarang. Almost all enemies will go down in one hit. Almost all. Then we've got the guys like this, and of course the Fat Clowns. Something to notice about these tall guys, watch their name up in the top right corner. Tall Crown. Okay. Well, the L and R keys are quite a ways away from each other, but... Oh, darn it. So I don't know how the developers messed that up. But apparently it's not a tall clown, it's a tall crown. Okay, why? Oh, come on. These thin clowns, in case you can't tell, are never ending. So these are the only two real modes of the game. There is a third one later on, but it's only for one level, so we'll bring that up when we eventually get around to it. Darn it. Those fat clowns, man, they drive me nuts. And we can't, we, even though we can fire off this item, we can't do anything with it until we get to the boss battle. Which should be soon. Very, very soon. Yep, no more enemies, because here comes the boss battle. We can't get to that guy, so we'll shoot that thing behind him and <laughs> pull out the wall behind him. I am most likely going to lose a life here. Darn it. Yeah, I'm definitely going to lose a life. Darn it! Why could you not take damage there? Oh, I had an eight. I had uh, eight lives for a second there. That's uh, quite impressive. I impressed myself. I killed him a lot faster than I did when I was practicing. Hey, lady, you dropped your glasses down there. You want to pick it up? Seen one clear. Yay! Well, that was quite fast. Wow, the Batman, or is it just Batman? The cowering lady saved by Batman was Selina Kyle, lowly secretary to Max Shrek, the most powerful businessman in Gotham City. <laughs> Some of the pacing of the words can be a little awkward sometimes. A mysterious creature known only as the Penguin has been spotted in Gotham's sewers. Lovely place to stay. He allies with Max Shrek to destroy the mayor's reputation, allowing himself to become the new mayor of Gotham City, and root out the Ninja Turtles from invading his home anymore. Burn, baby, burn! Hey, yeah, that's a line I say a lot. Is that where I got it from? Weird. Scene 2, Battle in the Streets of Gotham City. Meow. Okay, so, something that you want to check on every level as soon as you enter. Am I attacking with the with my fists or with the battering? Because that can save you a lot of heartache. Bonk. I'm going to try to not pick up that life if I can help it. Okay, two points of, well, not lives, but health. Life energy. That's what I was saying. It says go, but uh, okay. No. Okay, look you. You can throw stuff, I can throw stuff. How about you just die and admit that I'm the better item thrower? Come on. I'm going to try to save that till last and not move the screen forward anymore. When it says go, I'm going to pick that thing up if I need it. Oh, what the heck, I'll just pick it up anyway. I'm sure it's worth points. Yep. And onward we go. I <laughs> Punch out the lady! Come on, blow up the biker, blow up the biker. Or the clown. Blowing up the clown works too. Come on now. Bonk! Oh, I was hoping that it would... There we go. <laughs> There's not really a whole lot else to say about this game, but uh, compared to a lot of other Batman games out there, not all of them, I know, but compared to a lot of games out there that were not in 3D at the time, or maybe they were, I don't know, but most Batman games sucked terribly. I mean, ask the angry video game nerd. He has a whole video for Batman videos that are just terrible. I mean, really, Batman games, and especially Superman games, <clears throat> are quite terrible. But this one, this Batman game, really fun. And it's not built terribly either. It's it's a fun game and it's not, it's hard. It can be hard and it can be a little bit punishing too, but only if you play on the hard difficulties. If you play on the hard difficulties then, <laughs> good luck getting past the first major boss. Darn it. By the way, the setup of this game, how it works, well, maybe I shouldn't say it like that, because I was kind of proven wrong, but the way it feels like it's set up is every three levels you will have a major boss battle. There are going to be boss battles for the end of every stage, but sometimes it seems... points. Sometimes it seems like you're just going to... What was I saying? <laughs> sometimes it seems like whenever you get around to... Ah. Yeah! 
to... I can't remember, honestly. What was I saying? Hold on. <laughs> that was perfect. Here you. I need you to destroy this bench. Yeah, I honestly can't remember what I was saying now because these guys are distracting me. You big jerks. Wow, that didn't affect you. Okay. Whoop. I think it was something related to the bosses. Yeah, it kind of seems like the bosses at the end of every third stage are the major bosses, but for the most part, hey, I got another life. Yay. Okay, you, sir. I'm going, once again, I'm going to try to stay on the far side here. Not any relation to the comet. And take out anybody who comes close enough. Come on, I'm over here. Okay, darn it, I picked it up. Never mind. Oh yeah, that was something I could never do in practice. I wasn't sure about. You can throw guys against other guys while you're throwing them against the environments. Yay. But I can't throw them against that window up there. Drat. He almost got me with that flame. I don't know what the extent of his flame is, or like how far back it goes in relation to him. But I was a little worried there. Okay. <laughs> Progress uh, two steps and then we can transition to a new scene. Looks like, yep, battering level. I remember we're going to have a fat, a few fat clowns jumping down. Yep. That's going to be a problem. Doink. And then bounce, run, bounce. I tried to turn around before that, but nope. Okay, no, 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 no. There we go. Batman never actually went into a department store in this game, although a department store did have this thing happen to it, which we will see later. Why did you guys not hurt the women or children while you're in there? I don't know. Speaking of which, where are all the guys in this game? All the males that you see are Batman and the clowns. No females. Maybe it was just the way that the movie was? I don't I don't know, I'm not sure. I should probably not talk about that though, because the feminists will go nuts. Now while this is happening, we can do this. We can actually use our item. Okay, although probably at a better time. Yeah, we can, uh, darn it. Use our bat grapple... grapnel? Whatever it's called, to basically swing through the entire level. Although, based on the... darn it. Fire and whatnot, this may not be the best of ideas. Okay, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Okay, you... Whoop, 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 whoop! Darn it. Okay, yeah. And that's the only way you can get through that little section, as you can tell. However, here, bonga nonga 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 nonga, and you sir should die. And I think that's the end of this level, or stage, or piece, or whichever. Wee, wee. Yep. And now into the next part. You notice that stage two had three levels? That's very strange to me. Now we've got the knife throwers, and they will block your battering. But if you can hit them when they're, thank you. But if you can hit them when they're swallowing their sword, they will take damage. So they are one of the few enemies in here that can actually be damaged by that battering. <laughs> Could you shoot that thing aside from me? However, we can distract them by throwing the battering at them, have it block it, or have them block it. Come here. Okay. And that should be quite a bit of help. Point. I was actually trying to throw another one. Bum bum. Okay, come on, come on, seriously. The, be the best way I can do the most damage to these guys is to do the full combo attack. Darn it, on them. Oi! Okay, that was a problem. I'm gonna need this now. Man, I was really punching faster. Was I really punching the button that fast? Good grief. No one can throw a punch that fast except Batman. And maybe Chuck Norris. Although he's more of a special team kicks. Okay, you, sir. <laughs> I can just get, up, get rid of all of them this way until that fat guy comes in. You, sir. Go bonk. Well, I can uh, probably use this. Yeah. Hey, now, 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 now. Look. You should not be doing this. The boss at this level, I think, is one of the harder ones. Just because, for me, anyway, he's a little bit difficult to recall the patterns. Can I hit that guy? No, I can't. Come on. Oh, he almost held it for too long. I should have stayed out of the way. That would have been awesome. Three at once. Bonk. 
Oh yeah, there's another attack that I loved doing as a kid. Let me see if I can pull it off. So, darn it. Again, somehow. Get rid of this guy. And double whammy is what it's called in the manual. It sounds kind of cheesy now, but that's what it was called. Whoop. Hi, boys. Uh, yeah, got him. Actually, those bombs remind me. Batman in this, in the Batman Returns movie, he does something very out of character for him. He kills a random thug. One of the random Batman thugs. He kills him. Seriously. What happened was... The, darn it. He took a bomb from somebody. Uh, like somebody else. Oh yeah, it's actually... Okay, let me back up here. He took a bomb from a character. Walked down the street while holding the bomb. That is ticking. And I, I shouldn't walk on further because I want to get this out here. Beats up a whole bunch of people while carrying this bomb, a live bomb that is ticking, counting down, about to go off in his hand, comes to a guy that he can't beat up, who is actually the boss of this level. He, Batman can't hurt him. So eventually Batman points at his waist. The guy has the bomb attached to him. Batman throws him down a manhole with the bomb attached. The bomb goes off and he dies. Seriously, Batman just killed somebody. What? I mean, seriously, what? Now, I'm not very well versed in all of the Batman lore, so... Can somebody tell me if this is a thing that Batman used to do back in the day, and it's only recently that he has his never kill policy? I mean, he never uses guns, so I figured it would be the entire course of the franchise that Batman just doesn't kill anybody if he can help it. But it seems like he kind of made an exception that time. And really, the guy had a bomb attached to him. That guy. T Strong Man. I don't know what T stands for. I'm going to assume it means the. In which case, why would you bother to include it in the first place? Now, if we knock this guy down, yeah, he's going to get up and punch us before we can do anything to him. Ah. Okay, you. Look. You need to be taking damage. Uh, yeah, there we go. We can actually use those other clowns to throw them against him. Maybe I shouldn't have grabbed that yet. Like that. And then get out of the way. We can actually pick him up too, which is totally excellent. Okay, now he's going to do his sweeping punch. Yeah! Now don't jump in there and kick him because he'll hit you as soon as he gets up. Maybe you can do a double whammy! Yeah! Like, yeah, I just had to prove it, didn't I? Went on instincts and look what happened. Okay, look. Duck it, eight. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now then. Bat vial, or bat test tube. Everything has to start with bat. Every piece of equipment, of course, has to start with bat. Ooh, look, I got a three. And jumped right into him. Okay. I'm doing so well on this level. I mean, I'm still at seven lives when, you know, I've had eight a couple times, but still, I'm doing so well. And I'm going to need as many of my lives as I can hang on to. Even though we can knock him down with our battering, and I'll show you this before we stop. Knock him down with the battering. He takes no damage, but we can get a score from it. So really, we could uh, just stand right here and throw batteries at him until our score's in the millions, and everybody's going to wonder, how to do that when you take a picture of it and they see it's not Photoshop? But that's kind of fun to do. Okay, you come on. Come here. Let me finish you off. By throwing you on the ground. Try to get up. Can't get up. He falls over. Okay, we're done. That was fun. Okay, I think this is going to be the end of the first episode, so see you guys in the next one.